Hello everyone, Matt from Doctors of Running. We're gonna do a Q&A and quick review of the Skechers Razor XS, which we are very excited to get our hands on. So a couple good questions. This is a more cushioned version-ish of the Razor. It is not a replacement for anything. So we had a couple questions going, is this the upgrade from the Razor Plus? No, it is not. This is its own shoe, but it, it is inspired by the Razor. So it's a little more maximally cushioned Razor. It's very different from the Razor, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but it does de definitely does not replace any of the Razor models. So definitely its own thing. Is it still have the essence of it? Yes, this is definitely a shoe that I would pick any day for racing an ultra road event or racing uh, a marathon. I think other people will find there's plenty of cushion here. For those that are not as experienced, may enjoy this as a half marathon shoe or as a workout shoe with a little more cushion. So really, really impressed so far, really loving the extra foam. It does not slow the shoe down at all. Um, we had a couple questions about the fit. It's definitely along with a couple where the motion, the direction that Skechers is tending to move right now, it's more performance. So it's a little snugger throughout. Those people that might have a little trouble like with a wide forefoot or a little pinky pressure may notice this a little bit. So I definitely did have a wider, a little wider forefoot or at least a sensitive forefoot. And I noticed this initially, but the, the toe guard is fairly minimal. So it didn't bother me too much. So I kind of noticed it at first when I put it on, but only very subtly. The mesh is, is plenty stretchy and breathable that you should be fine with this but yeah it's still it's got a more performance fit so this is definitely a shoe that those wanting to pick up the pace this is going to feel really good for those people that are used to lightweight trainers also a really good option so i've done workouts from speed workouts to hill repeats tempo runs i've done easy runs and long runs in this shoe and it's actually done very well for everything so those people who love lightweight trainers this is like your golden shoe it's great there's plenty of foam underneath but it still can go fast whenever you want to pick up the pace we had a couple questions about other colorways, by the way. I like this colorway. There's some even better ones coming, so I'm really excited. I, I can't say too much, right, because Skechers will let you guys know on that, but there's a lot of very good colorways coming on the shoe. Lots of bright colors really popping in your face, so definitely some cool stuff coming down the way. In terms of ride, I, the Razor is fairly flexible, right? There's not these, you know, the hyper feels great. This shoe actually is a little stiffer. There is no plate in this shoe, but the extra foam makes it a little stiff and, and it's definitely snappy when you pick up the pace. It is rockered, right? So the heel bevel is really nice. The, the toe spring is really nice, but expect a little stiffer ride, which works very, very well for picking up the pace. So the weight obviously increases in this shoe. So it's a seven and a half ounce shoe in a men's size nine. So it picks up a little bit from the normal Razor, but it's well worth it. It does not slow down at all. The ride was actually firmer than I expected when I first put it on. I haven't gotten this confirmed, but the bottom says uh, Hyper RAC. I don't know what that means. We'll get more information on that. But for me, this actually feels more stable and a little bit more responsive than the normal Razor. So the, the Hyper and the Razor can feel a little bit soft, which is really nice for such a light shoe. This one feels more like more protective, but firmer initially. It's breaking in nicely. I'm getting a little bit of that traditional Hyper feel, but it's definitely a little firmer ride. So those, again, wanting to go up tempo for longer distances, this is a great shoe. This, it doesn't bottom out at all. There's plenty of material here. So even after I've done like 14 mile long runs on the road or doing like multiple runs a day, haven't had any problems in this shoe. So really good. I was almost considering a 50K road race, but my schedule as a full-time professor and a PhD student and doing his doctor's running did not has not allowed for it at the moment. And uh, we don't even know in Southern California if we'd be able to race. So kind of had to pass on this one. But if I was going to race, this would be my shoe of choice by far for any like ultra distance on the road. So really good. Fit is definitely, like I said, a little bit more performance oriented. There is a heel counter in this shoe, but it's fairly flexible and I had no issues. Laces work really, really well. The only challenge that I have is like many models, durability wise, it's, it's not the greatest. A lot of models from racing to trainers, especially with this razor design, I tend to scuff my heel on the left side and will pull this off. So I have about 35, 40 miles on my pair right now. And yeah, durability is not the hottest on the outsole, but there's plenty of outsole here that when you wear through it, you'll be fine. So I have pairs of Speed Elites that I have like 150 miles on that I've blown through this and still wearing through. And there's still enough midsole there that it's, it's done fine. So don't worry so much about this. Cause again, for me, the outsole is peeling off. 
but I'm still gonna keep using this. There's plenty of midsole as a more maximal cushion shoe that should be totally fine. The other thing I really like, like I said, a lot of the Razor models being a little softer aren't the most stable for a lot of people. For those that want just a hair of stability, try this. So you got a little bit of uh, lockdown, really nice for these subtle uh, elevation of the sidewalls. And the firmer sole definitely provides a lot more stability. So that's why I've been able to take this for much longer miles than I would normally take some of the other Razor models. So yeah, really, really impressed with the Razor XS. I think they did a great first job. Some sexy colorways coming out. And I highly suggest check out our shoe, uh, check out this shoe when you can. It'll come out soon. We're gonna have a full review in the next couple weeks. So look forward to that. And thanks for watching.